This is not the life we dream for our children. Nobody gives birth to a child to abandon them to face this harsh, risking their eyes, limbs, and lives to storms, scorpions, snakes, scorching sun, and clouds. Yet this is the fate of many of my Lord's children. something about the problems around me, not just talk about them. On seeing the plight of these children, I wondered if it wasn't possible for me to start an NGO which will offer free education for the children around me. Today I have about 50 children in regular school and 25 children who attend classes intermittently and I also have two who are learning a trade. A lot of these children are very happy when they come to school. You should see them learning. They are very excited. They are young, but they have big dreams already. They want to make something out of their lives because they've experienced how cruel life can be sometimes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ashley Serang. I'm from Seattle, Washington, USA. Last year I came to Ghana for the first time and we visited Child Care Foundation. And it really moved all eight of us who visited. I went back to my country, my city, at the um, preschool I work at, the Bothell Learning Garden, and my church, St. John Vianney. And we had a fundraiser, and I sent letters to family and friends, and together we raised 15 million U.S. dollars for Care Foundation. That sent 20 children to school, and we are now saving up to build a new structure for the school because as you can see the structure we have now is not fit for 50 children. As a preschool teacher and being with children in my in my country and with children every day um, and seeing these children and that they've never been enrolled in normal and proper schooling um, I felt that there was a great need for them to be in school because I feel that education is the one ticket out of um, a, the poverty that they live in. So I think education is vital to them getting out and, and starting a new life and building their own life. They want to sponsor 20 children to school, so that's what we are trying to do now. Now they've brought for that, and they've brought books and things to children. We are very, very happy, you know, and we are very grateful to them. And another group has also come with St. John's Vianney, and they have the um, Mary Queen of Peace here with us and we are fortunate to have one of a father of the church here with us as well so we thank them very much for all things that they've done for us and they continue to do and we ask that they continue to help us the best way they can many times it is the child in the classroom who is always asking the questions and always a little outside of the quiet normal we would like as a teacher then that is the child we need to be listening to the most that is the child that maybe will have the answer to global warming, who will maybe have the answer to malaria, who will maybe have the answer to the guinea worm. For four years now, the school has been doing very well. I have 60 children now, and then now I've added 10 to it, which is 70. And so it's very tough for us now, because the children are too many here, the place is too small, but then we are trying very hard to see how best we can help them. We thank everybody and we want to continue going to like that. When we came here at first we were not like that, but now it is. We know more things and we will continue to do like that so that anything they do, we can do so that we will not lose their hope and we will not lose hope so that anything we do, it can go on in future so that in future we can be some like them. The Child Care Foundation can do so much. But with your support, 
the dream of every one of these children shall come true. Care for a child today. Amen.